no flex So uh, they know better uh, yeah. They know better yeah, yeah. No flex So no flex So, no flex, so uh, they know better They know better, they know better. So it's Tayshawn Miller And let's jump right into this sticky situation So a couple of people had asked me Including my father earlier today how did I feel about the R. Kelly situation? And at first, I just pretty much was like, well, you know, R. Kelly. And then I thought to myself, I said, well, this is what I told my dad. I said, well, you know, I didn't really get to see the full, full story. You know, I dabbled a little here and there via social media on Facebook. So I saw a little bit, but I had not gained knowledge of the whole story so after me and him had a conversation i said let me go online and do some investigation just to see exactly what it is going on and what the talk is and i must say that i am completely not buying it nope nope i'm not buying it i'm gonna tell you why i'm not buying it i am not buying her story for several reasons and i'm talking about jocelyn for several reasons. The first reason would be because of this right here. Take a minute, read this. If you haven't seen the video, you can always go, I think it's online. If it's if you can't find it online, you definitely can go type in on Facebook. You can type in um, R. Kelly Cult <laughs> and it'll pop up with a bunch of videos, updates and stuff like that. I'm gonna talk about this for a while. After looking at Jocelyn's video the first time, I said, okay, I need to watch it again because just looking at her body language, it just it just didn't seem right. So I watched it a second time and I still wasn't buying it. I still wasn't convinced. So I watched it a third time. By the fourth time, I completely realized that someone, you can see a shadow in her clothes. Someone was making gestures at her. They were, you can tell that they were basically kind of like telling her, no, no, don't say that or do this. Because even at one point, the gestures that they did on her dress, like right around where her breast area at, the gestures that they did, like which is this movement, after she answered the question, she did the exact gestures she did her hand something like this and i was like hmm that looks a little fishy to me furthermore i went on to thinking about myself and i know to each his own and everyone is different but i've been in this situation before where i was kidnapped for two days and i want to say pretty much when she was speaking, I didn't hear, I didn't see any genuineness in her story, in what she was saying. I mean, like for instance with myself, if someone would have been asking me if I'm being held against my will, I would not have been acting how she's acting. I would not have been talking the way she's talking. Like, I don't know. I. I, I, I know what I want to say, but I can't quite explain it. It's just, it's just real funny. It, like, because I've been there, I know what she's saying, sh she need help. She clearly needs help. I, I can see through that. She clearly needs help, and she is being told what to say. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. She is being told what to say. I don't care how nobody feel about it. That young lady is not saying those words from her heart that's not how she feels at all and then for her to be only 21 years old and to say that she has not spoken to her family for five or six months at that young age the only way you would stay away from your family and not have any type of talk relationship any type of 
communication is the word I'm really looking for, with your family for that length of time would be if your family did something so wrong to you that you couldn't wait till you got away from them, which I don't think that that happened because she would have said she came from an abusive family and so that's why she don't want to deal with her peoples anymore. She didn't never say that though. She just simply said she's okay. She's not being held against her will. You can see all the shadows going on on her shirt. And then after that, I watched the update which even looks more scripted, I promise you. It's as if Jocelyn, or whatever her name is, was reading a script. You, she's being filmed at a park, first of all. And that's another thing. When these people ask certain questions, she's like, oh, I can't answer that question. If you're not being held against your will, then why can't you give a disclosure, uh, a, a, a disclosure as to where you are? Why you can't tell people your whereabouts? Even if you don't want your family to come get you. I mean, why? Why Doesn't make sense to me. But anyhow, so the second update interview, which was just released some hours ago, she's in a park, and I promise you, it's like she's like this. My name is Jocelyn, and I am okay. I am doing just fine. I am not being held against my will, period. Um, Yeah, you know, she's, she's being robotical. She's being scripted. Someone, it's like somebody was holding cue cards behind the camera and she was reading. I promise you guys, this girl needs help. I'm not buying this story. I don't know if anybody else is buying it, but it's deeper. It's deeper than what it is. Now, I'm not saying that he's the total bad person and I'm not saying she's a total victim. I'm just simply saying I'm not buying it and that I don't I don't think it's genuine at all. I don't think it's genuine and I don't think it's real. I honestly in my heart believe that she got into a situation and like she said in one of her interviews, it it blew up and it got too big. You know, and now her family's concerned and possibly some people that are involved, they don't know what to do now. And so they're trying to make it go away. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it go away by any means necessary. But I really think that the police need to get, not even the police, they need to get the FBI more involved in this situation before people start ending up dead, before people start ending up hurt. They need to get the FBI involved because at the end of the day, it's not only her family. It's six families. Six people cannot be lying. Six total different families cannot all be be saying the same thing about their daughters. That's impossible. And then this thing about they have these madams there living with them at these homes or at this particular home and that they need permission to go from one room to another room and they can't use their phones and stuff. I believe that. I, I God, I, God is my witness. I believe that because I've been in situations where there's been things like that going on. So guess what? That could very much be true. This girl could be scared out of her mind and fear for her life. We don't know what these people do. Her. We don't know how people are threatening her with her family. We just don't know. We don't know if she's doing this to even not only protect herself, but to protect her family. We, we just don't know. But we need to just definitely keep these people in our prayers and let's just hope and pray that everything works out good for these people. You know, I don't want to turn on the news and find out that this young lady has been injured or killed. I don't want to find out even if her family member has been injured, have been killed as a result of this sticky situation, y'all. So let's get the comment section popping. Y'all let me know. Have y'all heard of this story? Have you all seen it? What are your thoughts on this story? Are you buying her story? Are you not buying her story? Just what do you think, all right? Until next time, love you.